right here is good. This is high. I'm just going. I'm not going to call on the bell. Okay, keep everything above the waist. Tell us not to fight Oliva. Obey my commands at all times. Above all, protect yourself at all times. But scooch your man, cuida that day. Listos. Let's go. Remember, the unbeaten Elvis Rodriguez just fought 19 days ago. You can go to ESPN.HearMeCheer.com to have your voice heard. Cheer along during this fight. He went back to the gym, Freddie Roach's wild card gym. Started training on Monday. Got the call to return here and have this engagement against Okoth. You know, you can see right away Okoth moving to his right. Looks like he's trying to avoid the right hook of Rodriguez because Rodriguez, he's a complete southpaw. He has a right hook, and he also has a straight left hand. And this is a typical fight when a southpaw versus an orthodox fighter. Typically, you see the lead legs. I always bring this to everybody's attention. The lead feet, they're on the same side, so you're going to get a lot of step in stepping on each other's feet maybe feet tangle up a little bit and then also when they throw their power hands their their bodies land on the same side so what happens is headbutt clashes you know tend to happen i love how elvis rodriguez shows that he understands distance and range Oftentimes, people think that when you say a guy is a defensive fighter that he has to be moving on the perimeter of the ring and running. That's not the case with Rodriguez. He's right in the wheelhouse of Okoth, but he's just not allowing Okoth to get any shots off right now. He just leans back, ducks, counters, does what he has to do. I love the range and the timing from Elvis Rodriguez. Yeah, he's got a good sense of that imaginary line, that threshold. There's a lead right hook I was talking about. A lot of times you have southpaws that have a really good backhand, but don't have a right hook to go along with it. Manny Pacquiao was one of those guys that had both of them. He had a mean right hook and also a straight left hand. There's a right hand that he dug in, took that angle, and landed to the body. He did take that angle test, but one thing that he did do, he squared up when he took that angle. He's off balance when he takes that angle. So what you do, you sit and you wait. You see him come down to the body, you line him up for a right hand. Okoth and Rodriguez coming to the end of round one from Vegas. Round number two between Okoth and Rodriguez. Elvis Rodriguez, who grew up in the DR, was a baseball player growing up. He had a conversation with us a few weeks ago where he said, hey, listen, I was the guy playing baseball who would get into fights and got kicked out. So he turned to boxing when he was 11 years old. And he's been going nonstop from the DR, but he's been training and living out in L.A. And, Dre, he talked about that being really what's toughest for him is that he's got to make that change, the culture shock, the language barrier, everything being different. And he says it's uncomfortable, but you get the sense he's comfortable with being uncomfortable. He understands what it takes to put in the work to make the tough decisions to try to get to the next level, and getting in his training and sparring at wild no, no, card no, no, is no. what he's stop, chosen. Stop. And so many young fighters on the way up, they don't understand that. They want the best of both worlds. They want to be as comfortable as possible, but still go in and perform and, you know, make the money and still have, you know, all the buzz about them. But what I love about Rodriguez is, you know, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. So when you sit and talk with him, you not only hear about, you know, his boxing IQ and what he understands about, you know, his fight game, but you, you, you hear a young man who's taking the, the sport of boxing very, very seriously. He understands the sacrifices and will, he's willing to make them and they're going to pay off. Another thing that can pay off for Rodriguez is, is an uppercut. 
either right or left uppercut. Okoff is leaning forward over that front knee. And every now and then he'll, he'll act like he's going to commit, and he doesn't. He'll just squat right down in front of, of Rodriguez. Lift him up with the uppercut. Combination. The purpose for it, Dennis Okoff against an Elvis Rodriguez, it's an incremental step up. He's not supposed to beat Rodriguez, but he's a tough fighter. He's, he'll, he'll throw punches, he'll, you know, big shots like that. And if the young fighter is not careful, if he's not on point, Okoff can give him some trouble. That's how you measure where a young fighter is in his career. So that's the purpose of a fighter like Dennis Okoff. He's not here to necessarily win, though he can. He's here to test a young fighter to see where the young fighter is at. Doubled up that right hand hook and then the uppercut moments ago. Oh, and he scores the knockdown with a straight left hand behind the jab. What a shot, and it's over. Elvis just no, had Okoth now leave the building. How about that? Elvis Rodriguez. Well, we've been raving about his potential and what he is every which way. Take a glimpse of the power here, Dre. Straight down the middle. Overhead. Yeah, it was beautiful. Beautiful shot right there from Rodriguez. But it, that all came from him boxing. That all came from him throwing combinations and setting that shot up. He didn't go looking for the shot. Now you may say, oh, that didn't look like it landed, but it grazed the chin. And if you hit, there's nerves all in that chin. If you hit that chin in the right spot, a fighter can not only go down, but they'll go out sometimes. Good, good performers from Elvis Rodriguez. I want to continue to see more rounds. He passed this test tonight, and I'm looking forward to the next one. You know, when you put those earmuffs on, or we call it Olympic style defense. You blur your vision. You block your vision. And that's what Okop did. He blurred his vision. And then the jab came behind. And then the great positioning by Rodriguez getting his foot on the outside of that lead foot to line up that perfectly placed straight left hand down the middle that ended this match. That was impressive. Speaking of impressed, Dennis Akuth is being attended to. They've got him to the stool. He took a huge left hand from Elvis Rodriguez. Let's make it official with Mark Chinook. Ladies and gentlemen, here inside the MGM Grand, this bout concludes at 2 minutes and 33 seconds of round number two for your winner by knockout, Elvis, the Dominican Kid, Rodriguez. And here is how he did it. 